So in this exercise, that is the eighth exercise, we will be calculating factorial. So if you know what factorial is, it's okay. But if you don't, <laughs> this is what the factorial is. Uh, factorial of 4 is 4 into 3 into 2 into 1. Factorial of 0 and 1 are 1. And factorial of anything greater than 1 is multiplication of it uh, until 1. So example, uh, let's say factorial 7 is 7 into 6 into 5 into 1. So this is pretty simple. We just need a loop. And let's do it. So we will use user inputs, functions, and add strings. In previous videos, I have used all three and I've shown you how to do all three. But in this one, I'll just write the code for it and you will convert it to functions and take user inputs and use f strings. Okay, so let's just write the function. So let's say if our number to calculate for factorial is uh, 11, what we do is we just do the range. For range is for range i in range 1, 2. So where do we do? 1 till the actual number, right? So that is number plus 1. As I've told in many of the exercises before, the last part here in range is excluded. So if the last number is 11, our range will only go up to 10. But we want to go to 11, right? Because we want to include the number also. For it, we have to calculate the factorial. So we will plus 2 plus 1. And what do we do? We do, let's say, factorial is equals to 1, right? So what we do is, initially, we do factorial equals to factorial into i. So i. Initially, factorial is 1, and i is also 1. So factorial still remains 1. We can do two here, right? We do one extra loop, right? So the next time it becomes one into two. And next time I increases, it becomes one into three. Next time I increases, it becomes previous value into current value. So that's the initially factorial is one, right? So what is our value? Let's just call it new f. It becomes previous value into current value, that is two, that is i. And now in the second run, our current is 2. So 1 into 2 is 2, right? So factorial contains 2. But i becomes 3. So new f is, what is our old factorial? 2. And what is our i? It becomes 3. So similarly, it's 1 into 2 into 3 into 4. Everything will go on and we will have our final factorial here. Now once the loop is complete, we just print factorial. Let's run this. The factorial of 11 is 399. Okay, why do I think I'm wrong? Let's try with 4 because factorial of 4 is 24. Let's run this. Save this first and now let's run this. Okay, so I was not wrong. It's correct. So factorial 11 is this number and factorial 4 is 24. So that's a lot of difference. A huge difference. So let's see what the number 5 has. Uh, factorial okay so 5 factorial is 24 into 5 that is 120 so yeah this is how you can calculate factorial now as a task for you put it inside a function take a user input and print out the result using f string as we have done in previous exercises if you have any questions let me know in the comments below